The number one is Dasco Pro G335. The Dasco Pro G335 is a staple in toolboxes because it is made of heat-treated high-carbon steel and has a large striking surface. The handguard is a generous 3 to 3 quarters of an inch across, which means there is little chance of hitting yourself with a hammer. The price is around $11, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 26 reviews which average rating is 4.8 stars for this product, a customer said. After smacking the crap out of my thumb with a hammer as I was chiseling away mortar between bricks, I decided I needed something like this. Works great. Will save my hand in the future. Another happy customer said. Works like a chisel should. I used it to cut retaining wall stones in two. The guard was a most welcome feature. The only bad thing I have to say about this purchase is that it took a week in shipment, even though it left the warehouse almost immediately. An unhappy customer said. I would have liked the edge to be a bit sharper. For chiseling off some concrete edges of a cinder block wall it worked well for me. The second product on our list is Stanley Fat Max FMHT 16494. A versatile model that is thin enough to get between bricks easily, the Stanley Fat Max FMHT 16494 is tough enough to provide many years of service. It is forged from one piece of steel and quenched and tempered for durability. The price is around $9, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.5 stars from 15 customer reviews, a customer said. I am taking down a retaining wall on my patio, we are saving the bricks for another project. I started with a masonry bit and power drill, but this is too slow. So I started using a chisel and this is much faster, I am losing about 10% of the bricks which is okay. My only problem is with hitting my hand with the drilling hammer. You don't take full swings so it doesn't hurt that bad. However after 5 or 6 times it starts to hurt. This eliminates the problem. Another happy customer said. The rubber guard slides a bit as you use it, but the tool itself is great, busting cement off fence posts easily. The number 3. Stanley Fat Max 16328. The Stanley Fat Max 16 to 328 is a 4-inch model especially suited to cutting brick and stone. Its wide edge strikes more of the workpiece than smaller models, which minimizes the chance of uneven breaks. The powder coating protects it from abrasions and oxidation. The price approximately $11. There are 116 reviews which average rating is 4.3 stars for this product, a customer said. I'm very new to DIY and I wasn't sure just how well this would work. I figured you'd have to hammer a long time to break through, but this was easy. Basically score it on all sides and one good tap of the hammer and it splits exactly where you scored it. This is amazing. And I also like that it protects your hand, because I am very accident prone. Another happy customer said. This little masonry, concrete chisel is a beast. Our long driveway had tons of large cracks in it, which we wanted to repair before the winter hit, because the cracks were such a pain last year when trying to use our snow blower. This chisel was comfortable to hold with the rubber grip, and I was especially thankful for the added protection of the top handle guard when hammering. I originally and very stupidly tried using a wood chisel for the job and hit a finger or two with the hammer. The chisel blade is incredible, it is incredibly durable, cut through the cement driveway with great ease, and showed no signs of wear or dulling after successfully chiseling out all of the driveway cracks. 
I had no issues creating a B shape out of each crack, which I found was the ideal shape to receive cement after watching a bunch of do-it-yourself videos and tons of research. The driveway was my first cement masonry type project. For reference, I'm a petite 30-year-old female. I found the 4 inches blade more than manageable to use, hold, which may be attributed to the comfort grip and hand guard. I have small hands and wore thin gloves. An unhappy customer said, I bought this to use on field stone. I wanted to chip off the edge of a particular stone in my foundation to make it flush with the surrounding stones. Long story. After using it tonight for 15 minutes the edge is completely gone, see photo. I don't think this tool was intended for use on stone. It is probably well suited to its intended purpose of cutting softer materials such as brick or pavers. So, my main dissatisfaction is more due to me having unrealistic expectations of the tool rather than it being of poor quality. Although, someone did say in the queue and a section this would work for stone. Well, it doesn't. Use only for soft stuff and you'll be okay. The grip is very comfortable and the hand guard is nice. The next product in our list is Harden 43237-2. The Harden 43237-2 comes with an ergonomic handle and a hand protector that are made of stiff rubber, which makes them highly resistant to hammer blows, and minimizes the possibility of the shield breaking and exposing the hand. The price is around $14, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 20 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.1 stars, a customer said. It's the best small chisel I have ever had. Leave the top on to cushion the pounding if you are breaking up concrete or rocks. This is after about an hour of use. Warning if you can't get it out of the package, you probably shouldn't be using the chisel. Took me about 30 seconds with a box cutter, including cutting off the tab. I'm ordering the bigger one today because I didn't realize how much concrete was there. Oh yeah, I am a disabled veteran. I have one leg and I work from my wheelchair mostly, so people shouldn't complain about the small stuff. Another happy customer said. As you'd expect, I used this for cracking scored masonry, rocks, cement. It works great. The only problem I had with it wasn't even with the chisel, it's with the plastic cap on the top it was meant to hang from. Couldn't get it off for the life of me. Finally cut it off. All in all a nice sturdy chunk of steel, perfect for when that's what you need. An unhappy customer said. You will need a vise and a good pair of channel locks to get this thing out of its packaging. I'm honestly dumbfounded, my knuckles are busted up and bleeding from the fight this thing just gave me. Nearly ripped a hole in my shirt with the sharp end of the chisel when my hand slipped. They put a plastic cap on the rear end of the chisel and it's nothing short of impossible to remove. You will not be able to use the chisel until this cap is removed. I honestly contemplated getting out a blowtorch to just melt it off but figured I'd ruin the foam grip by doing so. This has to be some kind of world record in terms of amount of force required to remove an item from its packaging. I had to crank on this thing with an absurd amount of leverage to get it off, if you are not extremely strong or very handy with tools don't order this thing. The number 5. Finder 43237-2 The Finder 43237-2 is equipped with a floating plastic handle and guard that help minimize the vibrations felt in the hand. The hard chrome vanadium blade is highly durable and capable of maintaining its edge even with extensive use. This product is available on Amazon for $19, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 107 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.5 stars, a customer said. Love this tool. The purpose of the purchase was to allow a child to hit this chisel with a hammer and break a geode. 
perfect tool to protect the chisel holder. Beautiful tool, heavy duty yet a nice fine point to open a million year old geode. Another happy customer said. Used a diamond blade on my skill saw and cut a 50 foot 2 inches wide slice in concrete driveway to lay a pipe. Used this to get all of the concrete out smoothly as the saw would only cut 3 inches and there were 5 of concrete. Did not dull or deform or slip. The hand guard is a major blessing. An unhappy customer said. Brought the tool for a specific 1.5 border tile removal and replacement. Tool worked great to remove the old tile. Used the tool for a total of two hours. During that time the chisel grip began slowly sliding up the chisel eventually becoming even with the chisel top head. Good tool hopefully mine was just an isolated incident. Would buy it again if I can be assured the grip stays put. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.